Oh, okay, Chico coming too? Coming too? Welcome back. Today is a bit of a different video from what I normally do, but I am going to be talking about some of my favorite foodie gifts that you could potentially buy foodie on your Christmas list this year. I don't know. This intro is so weird because I'm not used to doing videos like these, and also my dogs are like going insane. Um, but gift giving is one of my absolute favorite things, and I have a reputation of being a very, very good gift giver. Um, so I thought that this would be a perfect video to do. I like giving gifts that are fun but also useful i i like the gift receiver to feel like the gift somehow like adds something to their life so whenever i'm gift giving whenever i'm buying a gift for somebody i'm very very like particular about what i give them i actually you guys will see this friday what i got for my boyfriend for christmas it's a good one i think but there was like so much freaking drama associated with it so if you want to hear that story time oh my god um yeah, stay tuned on friday but yeah so also, if you don't know my dogs, this was one of them. This little sass nugget. Huh? This little. She's like, let me go, mommy. Let me go, mommy. Oh, Trickle just took your toy. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Can you go get her? Yeah. <laughs> that noise was how you stealing toys from her, which happens all the time. Okay. Anyways, okay, so first on the list. So I got everything off of Amazon. This isn't sponsored by Amazon. That would be so cool, but it isn't. Um, but the reason why I bought everything off of Amazon is that so the, is so that it's way easier for you guys if you want to buy something. All the links will be in the description box down below. And also, actually, everything in this video is going to be included in this month's giveaways. If you guys aren't familiar with my channel, if this is like a new... <laughs> if you're watching my channel for the first time, every video this month has a giveaway associated with it. And the giveaways are pretty good, I think. Uh, so. Um, stay tuned to the end of this video and check out my other videos from this month if you want to win some goodies. Okay, so first things first, I think that this is so cool. <laughs> Treacle. Is, these are two, they don't come together, but you could make them a joint gift. Is, um, firstly, if the person in your life likes like to bake or cook and they also like Star Wars, this is an R2-D2 coffee press or a French press. I think it looks so cool. I like, I wish my boyfriend wanted it so we could keep it, but he's like, no, it's fine, so. Damn it. But that means that you guys get to win it. Um, and also an R2-D2 um, set of measuring cups. I think that these are so cool. I love novelty measuring cups. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that like every so often a new set of measuring cups appears because I can't stop buying them. Twinkle. Stop it. So yeah, I think that this is the kind of thing that like maybe someone wouldn't buy for themselves, but if they're a fan of both, food and Star Wars. This could be a really, really cool gift. And this is small enough, the measuring cups, that it could potentially be a stocking stuffer. If your stockings are big, I don't think they would, would not fit in mine, but you know. <laughs> All right, so the next thing is you're like, what is this? Um, Huntington's like, I want it. No, you don't. Um, these are Russian piping tips. So I'm just gonna insert a photo here because like, I'm not gonna take them out and show you right now. This is also a prize, so I don't wanna like dirty them for you. Um, but what these are, if you're not familiar with what Russian piping tips are, they're piping tips that like, they create little shapes just through piping. It's like the least complicated way of making cool shapes with buttercream. Uh, so you just use it like any other piping tip and you just like do a little dollop and you get a little shape. And I discovered that there are Christmas themed ones, which oh my god, it's so cool. So um, the top one I see is a snowflake, but I know there's like Christmas trees and like presents and stuff like that. So I think that this is so cool. It would be a good stocking stuffer. So if you know somebody who is getting into baking or somebody who like loves to bake and loves like themed baking or little cool tricks, this is really, really cool trick. I don't know. Um, this would be good in my stocking if family members are watching because this is going to be given away in a video. I don't know which video off the top of my head, but this one. <laughs> All right. So next, oh my God, this is so big. So this is already in a video. This is in my um tanya fur video i tried out one of her recipes so that is in the second video in my december series which is called cookmas so if you want to win this head on over to that video after it's done it's the yule tide cake or like the yule log but anyway this is the wilton ultimate decorating set so i think that this would be perfect for anybody who loves to bake or if somebody's starting out and you want to like give them something pretty impressive this will get them off to a really really good start because there are what what is it? 263 pieces. There's so much in here. 
Um, there's also a lot of fondant tools if your person is getting into fondant or they really want to. This seems to have everything that you need. How many piping tips are you? There's like 62 piping tips, which is insane. And there's four different kinds of spatulas. And, oh no, wait, sorry. 62 piping bags. And um, how many piping tips? 18. So just so much. So if, if you don't have a lot in your collection, this is a really good way to just like start it or bulk it up. And um, it's like a significant present too. And it comes with everything in like a little case. So it stays nice and neat and tidy, which is nice. Put this down because oh my God, it's so heavy. <sighs> okay, so next is a really cute stocking stuffer. 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 This is an avocado. Uh, this is an avocado ornament. So these are falling. Yes. Not Paddington. It's not for you. Especially not for you. Dogs cannot have avocados. So why do you like this? Why do you like it? Huh? Um. Obviously, this is perfect for anybody who appreciates avocados or avocados on toast. They're quite trendy still at the moment. So I think that this is really cute and like perfect for your stocking. And actually, there are a ton of other like food themed ornaments on Amazon. Oh my god. I put, actually Anthropology has them too, but Amazon has the same ones, but they're less expensive. So just FYI, um, I was on Anthropology's website and I'm like, I'm going to put everything I want into my cart to see how much it would cost. Just ornaments. And it was like $600. So no, I didn't buy any of them. Um, but they have really cute ones. They have like blueberry muffins and pretzels and, um, croissants and just like some bacon and so many things and so um even if you don't even if your gift giver or whatever doesn't like avocado there are so many other ones that could be really really cool okay so next is actually a gift that i got my dad last year for christmas this is an ember did i get it for him or did my mom it was my idea anyway taking credit anyways um this is an ember mug so if you guys don't know what this is this is a mug that maintains the temperature of your coffee or like whatever hot drink you put in it so temperature control ceramic mug so you use an app with it I believe and um, yeah it keeps your coffee hot so my dad is really 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 particular about the temperature of his coffee and since he's used to use this and they also have like a, a like a portable thermos and I think he prefers the portable thermos it's a little bit more expensive than this um, but he said it makes the coffee taste better because it keeps it at the temperature it's supposed to be at and there's like so much science and technology behind it I don't know. Paddington, don't lick the presents. Um, oh my god. <laughs> I totally lost my trip. Excuse me. Little man. <gasps> little man. Little man. This is not for you. This is not for you. None of you Although, I am doing a What My Dogs Got for Christmas video that is coming out on Christmas. So, if you want to see what they got, um, that's coming soon. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so I think that this is perfect for somebody if they really, really love their coffee and they're particular about it or just somebody who's like a bit of a techie, I think that this would be really cool. You, My dad has an espresso machine, so he makes like a cappuccino in the mug. And I think you just like set it to the temperature you want it to be at. And there's some kind of like gel within the, within like the whole mechanism that keeps it warm. I don't know, but it's really, really cool. So one of you guys are gonna win this. I forget what you're getting in this video. I don't think it's this, but this is coming soon. Next is something that is really cool. I think it's perfect for anybody who loves to bake, especially cookies. This is an embossed rolling pin. Like, seriously, Paddington. This is covered. So whoever wins this, my dog knows didn't just touch it. I'm not gonna uncover it <laughs> until you get it. Um, but yeah, so what this is is a rolling pin that basically has embossing of a cute little pattern on it. This one has reindeers and um, Christmas trees. So when you're rolling out your cookies, I think you wanna roll them to the thickness that you want them to be first and then you roll this over like as your last step and it creates this pattern on your cookies which I think is really really cool it's simple um, not as complicated as like using royal icing to decorate them so much more simple way also perfect if you have to make a lot of cookies for Christmas and you don't want to fuss this would make your life a lot easier actually so if you want this for yourself check down below so yeah I think it's really cute and there's also a bunch of different patterns. They're also on Etsy. This is on Amazon, but there's a ton on Etsy. So uh, I definitely recommend checking there if you don't see the pattern that you like on Amazon. Okay. All right, so next is something that I have as well. I bought a second one for you guys. I'll take it out of the bag. So this is a purse from Betsy Johnson, and it looks like a croissant. Like, how cute is this? Like, it's like a little croissant wristlet. Um, I'm not gonna take the tags off because like it's new. I want you guys to 
well, I want the winner to get it like it's new. Um, and so it has, it looks like it has like cheese and lettuce and tomato in it. And then there's like a little zipper on the back. And yeah, it's like it's stuffed with filling right now. Um, but I think this is so cute. I'm such a sucker for novelty purses. Oh my God. Um, as you can see, can you see? I have this one. I haven't, I've used it once. It just sits on my bedside table. My boyfriend didn't even know it was a purse until I told him. So yeah, I'm a sucker for those kind of things. So I think that this is so cute. And I think it's like perfect for any season. I think especially for the summer or if you're going on a trip to France, bring your croissant purse. Okay, so next is from Kate Spade. And uh, this is a little croissant necklace and you can't see it from here. I don't even know why I'm trying. Um, no, it's not a croissant, I'm sorry. It's a pretzel necklace. So I think that this is so cute. It's like a little bit novelty, but it's also fancy. And I think, I think maybe it could be like a daily thing. I'm not so sure. But yeah, I think it's a really cute and unique gift. And if you want to give someone jewelry, but um, I don't know, you really don't know their style or want to give them something kind of like fun or you like have a girlfriend that you want to give something to, I think that this is really, really cute. The, um, I think they have other items that match with it, if I'm correct. So I will link it below. Actually, this I didn't get on Amazon. This is I got on Kate Faye's website. So that will be linked below if you want to pick it up. This is also in a giveaway. Um, so yeah, stay tuned this month. And Kate Spade stuff, I shop at Kate Spade a lot. Trade cool. And um, their stuff is very, very good quality. I really appreciate like the care that they put into their stuff. Uh, also, side note, I'm doing separate giveaways each weekend on in my Facebook group, and one of them is a Kate Spade sweater. So if you would like to win it, um, check out the Facebook group. I'll link it down below uh, if you want to join and maybe win a sweater. It's a really, really cute one. Okay, so next, as you can see, something has been added to the set. So, next is a foodie stuffed animal, or like a food-themed stuffed toy. So I'm, I'm such a sucker for any like oversized toy, especially if it's food shaped, just like give me everything. I, I am running out of space and I'm not even kidding because I bought this friggin' avocado that takes up about like half of my couch. How, oh my God, it's so cool. I love it. I love it so much. So there was only one left on Amazon, I think. So I will link it below if the link is still there. This is from, these are both from the company Squishable. I think, yes. And so they have their own website and there's also a ton of stuff on Amazon that ships with Prime. So if you want something quick, there is so much stuff. Oh my God. So this is a 41 inch. No, I don't know. Where is it? I think Trinkle ripped off the tags. Oh no, it's here. How big are you? I don't know. It doesn't sit. I think it's 41 inch. Yeah. Um, mega avocado. This is so cool. This one is a little expensive. Um, but like waking up and the treacle, what are you eating? Waking up in the morning and seeing this, like it's not even under the tree because it won't fit under the tree, but like seeing it on the couch, there's also a bunch of other mega ones. Ah! So I'll have a look online and see if I can find any and I'll link it below. Um, but this is what's gonna be included in the giveaway because like shipping this would cost like thousands of dollars. So this is a shrimp or little itty um, sushi plushie, which is so cool on the tail. <laughs> the tail moves like this. And yeah, I think it will be so cute for just like a little novelty gift for a friend um, or if your girlfriend likes stuffed animals. Hint, hint to my boyfriend. Um, he knows this though. He's very amused with oh God. Uh, but yeah, like how cute is it? And they're so soft, like so soft and really good quality that I'm impressed. Um, this will last you quite a long time, I believe, if your dog don't get it first. Ish, I'm not in Paddington. I'd love to play with this, but he's not touching it because one of you guys are going to win this. And I don't know if you have dog allergies, so I'll keep that away from him. And that's not going there. Okay, and last but not least, this is so exciting, I just hit myself in the face. Okay, I got an avocado here. Let me hold you. I got a puppy down here. Are you a puppy? Are you a puppy? Oh my God, the other day I was sitting on my couch talking to my boyfriend and Paddington was on my lap and then he just like dove onto the avocado. So I'll insert a photo here cause like, oh my God, how cute is it? And also you can like scale it because this he's like a chunky little animal and so he likes the avocado. Yes, <laughs> yes you like it? Do you like it? Ah! No, treacle. 
No, that was just old awful bark. Treacle! Can I say hello? Okay, so anyway, the last gift is something that it, it costs less than I expected. So if you want to do something really, really nice for um, your spouse or your parents or anybody who loves coffee and espresso and wants to start making their own, this is... I don't want to say affordable because affordable, affordable is totally relative to everybody, but this is significantly more affordable than some other versions of it. So this is an espresso machine. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Um, from Breville, which is a really, really good company. It's called the Cafe Roma. And 15 bar, what does that mean? I don't know. Stainless steel espresso and cappuccino machine. So it looks like, oh my god, oh my god, heavy. This. But yeah, so this was, I'm in Canada, so I'm talking Canadian money here, um, but it was $180 for this. And so I've seen a lot of other ones that are around the $600 mark. So if you're looking for a really, really cool and special gift that doesn't hurt as much as a $600 one, um, I think that this would be a really, really cool and generous gift. The one thing though is that I ordered this off Amazon and it arrived in this box. It wasn't in another box. And so they wrote like my address and everything on like the freaking side of it. And like, how does this not get stolen in the mail? Like, wouldn't somebody just be like, oh, like clearly that's an espresso machine. I want it and just take it because like there's no hiding what it is. So I don't know. So if you're shipping this to somebody or if you want to give them a box without like writing on the top of it, because that's what my mom <sighs> does on all packages. Um, I think Amazon has like a gift option or like to pack it in another box. So do that. <laughs> and today's giveaway, we are going to be giving away this. I'm so excited, sad to part with it, but I'm excited to give it to one of you guys. So um, the only difference between this giveaway and every other giveaway this year, this December, um, is that this is North America only because of the plug. I, with appliances, it can get tricky if you're using like a heavy duty appliance like this and you're using like a converter. So for everybody's safety, this is going to be Canada, US only. I'm so sorry. I hate it when channels do that. Um, but I just like, I've tried, when I was in Australia, I tried to use a rice cooker over there and like everything was telling me like, don't do it. So this like requires more than a rice cooker. So I don't want to put you through that and like the excitement of winning something and then you can't use it. Like that's just sucks. So yeah, so this is Canada, US only. Um, so to enter this, you have to use the emoji of the coffee cup, which I think is like pretty appropriate. And um, all the other giveaway details and like how to enter and everything is down below. So oh my God, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for an only video because I'm uploading every day from Monday to Friday. Um, yeah, so, oh my god, I'm so excited to give this to one of you. I, I want to keep it, but I actually want to work with Rebel one day, so I'm like waiting and hoping that like I can get one from Rebel. <laughs> like, is that a bad thing to do or is that just like excited and strategic? I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful December so far. And yeah, good luck on the giveaway. Um, all right, so we're going to do this, and oh, we're going to do the thumbnail, and I don't, oh my god, don't look at this part, this is so fucking awkward. This hurts so much. I hate this part of my job.
embarrassing, so cringy. Oh my god.